good afternoon and welcome back to Focus on Liberia. President George Uya will be arriving here uh, at the grounds of the capital to present this administration states of affairs uh, to the legislature. So we here and bring everything, everything you ever want to follow. Thanks for joining me. My name is Prince Boba. measures uh, to control the crowd and of course you see the crowd that the president will soon be arriving that's a jubilation uh, the jubilant crowd and with the, the presidents of course the presidents have arrived the convoy I just show this of course the front part of the car uh, arrives here that shows to you the president uh, will soon be entering. Jubilant crowd, supporters of the government, all other Liberian citizens are all here. And so that's the view of the president. This is it. President George who uh, arrived uh, to deliver his final, final state of the nation address. Thanks to all of us. The vehicle, the president will not be in this one. He might be in this one or the other one. Any of the two. Over, 
Disembark his vehicle. Uh, Minister of Finance, somewhat two edges, disembark the vehicle. And of course, the president, any moment from now, President Weah will disembark the vehicle. Any moment. So just keep following us. This is Focus on Liberal TV. Uh, uh, this is the sixth. State of the nation address of the president. Of course, the president will be reducing back in his vehicle now. Uh, uh, the president, the chief of protocol, Finapono, has ended in, and I'm sure they're having some tete a tete uh, with the president before he comes out. Uh, so keep posting, keep following. This is uh, Focus on Liberal TV. This is uh, Prince Moba. This is the capital, and we're doing all we can. Everything possible to bring you this this live broadcast. All right. So the joint session has already commenced. Um, even though we're not in the hall, but that's the message. Uh, the joint session has already commenced, where the press, uh, the Speaker of the House, Speaker Chimra, is presiding. And it's already 3.46, 13 minutes to 4 o'clock. The President will be escorted upstairs. Uh, he's going to wait a little bit. As soon as it is uh, 3.59, uh, it's going to be announced into the joint chambers of the legislature by the science of arms. And of course, he's going to take the podium, mom the podium, uh, for the speech. It should be for two hours or one and a half, one and a half hours of deliberation. And of course, it's going to be carried live on major uh, news online, both local and international. Uh, including this uh, platform.
slow is where are the bike and uh, I don't know who is in comfort station with. Of course, get behind there. Let's give me a call here. So the time in Liberia is 3.50, 3.50 p.m. That is the time, 10 minutes to 4 o'clock. And so the president is still here and show sure he's waiting maybe 5 minutes to, uh, to 4. He might be disembarking his vehicle because he should be, he should be announced to the Joint Assembly of the Legislature exactly 3.59. That is the time it's announced. Uh, he takes the podium exactly at a full book class shop. And of course, that's a, that's a procedure, that's a process. So I'm, I'm sure he is waiting. And maybe at 3.55 before he disembark his vehicle to claim the stairs to the joint chambers. That will be about two, three minutes. He waits a bit and before he Time is uh, 3.53, that is seven more minutes at the 4 o'clock p.m. And of course, uh, we are closely following here. Like I said, the process or the procedure is the president should be announced to the Joint Assembly of the House and the Senate uh, exactly uh, nine, sorry, uh, of uh, 359. That will be done by the Sanya Hams. He's then he will be, a by, he'll be a, uh, escorted by the chairperson or chairman on the executive, uh, Akaros Moses Free, and so we
on the panel from this, the House of Representatives. So, President, we are there. Mr. President, it's in. Of course, uh, it goes in now. Uh, the rest of the activities will be in the hall. Yes, we are not in the hall, but we will be outside. for the House and also so in on a panel from the Senate Representatives J.C. Rawi Sibo of District 16, Montserrat County uh, of the House of Representatives and of course so here we are uh, let's see
here to uh, our full club we come in transition to uh, the hall to bring you the life of the for the people in the diaspora right now. Which era you think this government performed and which era you think They are performing this? development, they are performing the education, the development in terms of work and activity, development in terms of uh, infrastructure, they, they are performing in education, and they are also performing in uh, uh, video of many people's lives. This is how we like to wind down the curtain here uh, on this broadcast. We will rejoin you um, when we shall get this signal of the audio. We want to bring you uh, live audio because we are not because we are not in the hall. Uh, so this, uh, we like to wind down this curtain and rejoin you uh, later on. But this is focus on Nigeria television. Uh, thanks so much for following me. Uh, my name is Prince Boba. We've been here since uh, 10 o'clock this morning at the grounds of the capital, bringing you a live broadcast of happenings here. The president has mounted the podium already, uh, addressing the nation on those issues of concern uh, and, of course, why he thinks uh, is based that should be part of his agenda for uh, the next uh, session that starts now. Uh, so thanks so much for following me. This is how we tell leave for you. My name is Springs Moba. Do join me when I shall have resumed broadcast. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. Bye-bye uh, uh, for now. But before I tell you, for you can I just talk to this video for the day. Welcome to Focus on the Bro. How are you doing? Thank you. Okay, okay so today you're here uh, to witness to witness the president's state of the nation address. Tell me your own impression. He, he's already there. He's speaking already. But what do you expect from him? Well, I came here to invest the
one new. So what, what is that new thing you think you want to hear from President Weir? Maybe when it comes to uh, women empowerment, when it comes to youth empowerment, when it comes to uh, rule of law, what new you like to hear? Which era you think needs improvement, and which era you think the president did excellently well uh, for the first five years? The president has been touching so many places, so many places, and so many places for him to do. Okay, your name? Alice Speaker. Okay, I also like to speak with this lady. Of course, she's, um, she's also here. Uh, welcome to Focus on Liberia. How are you doing? I'm okay. Thank What's you. her name? I'm Josephine P. Johnson. Josephine, I'm told you are an aspirant. Am yes, I correct? I represented aspirant district. Oh, district number 8. You want to unseat uh, representative like Gray? Moses Akaris. From the CDC as well? Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm the co chair for the CDC legislative that, that, that's, that's your big papa there. <laughs> okay, to the issue. Are you here today to Grace's occasion? I'd like to ask a few questions. What are your expectations? What do you want to hear from President Weir as, he's, as he has already mounted the, the podium? Okay, thank you very much. Well, uh, the President has been doing extremely well. So today, actually, I think I will be expecting him to like, just deliberate on some of those things that he has gone to us from the angle of the CDC. Everything that was mentioned in the in the PE for pillows, we have already touched him. The president is going to give us give us a very resounding message that will you know go down well with the Liberian people. What are other areas you think the president did excellently well, and what are other areas you think uh, the, 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 the need the need of improvement uh, should be focused? Yeah. Okay. I think that the president actually performed in infrastructure development, okay. and he also performed in. Culture. We also did extremely well when it comes to gender equality because if you look at the government for right now, you see that it's kind of like balance. You got more women, you got men, it's almost the same ratio. So he actually performed when it comes to that. You know, he's a feminist, he's a chief, he's a chief feminist. So he actually performed when it comes to that. So we are not surprised because those were the very things that we saw that motivated us to elect him into power. What are areas you will be thinking that there should be more improvement, more focus? Yeah, healthcare development. Healthcare. He, he tried his best, but we are anticipating that much attention be given to that Pre area. Personally, has anything that the president has done impacted your life uh, personally, either negatively or positively as a person? Yeah, the president did did a lot of things that impacted my life positively because you see when I look at the life story of the president, I see myself that I also fit in a category and seeing myself today, I know that he's a he's a big motivation to me because from where he came from and to see himself today as president, it means that anybody in Liberia can become president. Once you are focused, you are motivated. So he's a motivation to so many is a motivation not only to those who are able to put food on the tables, but to those who will go to the market and sell just to be able to get a daily bread. And he, he motivates them in the sense that whether you have money or not, at the end, end of the day, know that you have a part to play in your society. Know that you have a part to play in your country. You have a decision to make. So it doesn't matter whether you have money or not, because it is that background that he heals from. So he's a motivation to the people, and most especially me, because I myself, I found myself in that same situation. And today, I'm also a motivation to so many youths in Liberia, so many youths in Deshwe, and there's a reason why we want to make a difference.
thank you. Your name again? I'm Josephine P. Johnson, representative as parent, District 8, Moss Rano County, co-chair, CDC Legend, Lady Star Wars Association. Thank you so much. So this is how we uh, like to tell leave of you on this uh, live broadcast. We're going to reach over you uh, in subsequent time. My name is Prince Samoa. We've been speaking with uh, lots of librarian citizens who have come here, who have conversed here. Or to uh, when is this occasion? The president has already mounted the podium. He's already speaking now. He addressing uh, the nation. And so thanks for following me. Thanks for watching me. Do join me and uh, in just an hour from now. I'm Prince Moba. Bye bye.